G'day guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we set up cloth pinning in Blender. This is going to be a very quick tutorial um, just to give you a quick introduction. It's very simple so you can see here we have a simulation running um, but all the vertices besides these ones up here are getting simulated so this can be very useful if you wanted to for example make a cloth hanging on the wall and you only wanted part of it to simulate. So let's not waste any time and get right into this quick little tutorial. Okay, so with a brand new scene opened up in Blender, you can see here I've already gone ahead and deleted everything in my scene. I've set it to Cycles Render. I've also enabled my screencast keys for you guys, so you can see the keys I am pressing. Now, to not waste any more time, I'm just gonna go Add, Mesh, and we're gonna be adding a plane. Now, a plane is a perfect ex thing to use whenever we do cloth simulations, because it's easy to subdivide and it is a really easy thing to UV unwrap as well. So we're going to go into tab um, to go into our edit mode. And we can see here we have our plane selected. So just make sure you hit A. All the vertices are selected and then go W, subdivide. And over here under subdivision, under number of cuts, we're just going to bump that up to 40. So type in 40. And we now have uh, it subdivided 40 times. Now what we want to think about is where we want the cloth to be pinned. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, is tab back into object mode by hitting tab, pull this up to here, and with my cursor still in the center, and if it's not, all you have to do is shift S, cursor um, to center. We're gonna go add mesh, and I'm gonna add a UV cylinder here, or just a cylinder. I'm gonna go into edit mode by hitting tab. I'm just gonna pull all the vertices up so it's sitting on that red line. Grab the top vertices, bring them down to here. And with those vertices still selected, I'm just gonna go Control B and just pull my mouse and then roll the middle mouse wheel to add a bevel. And this is just gonna give our cloth a surface to interact with. It'll make things a bit more interesting. And I'm just gonna enable smooth shading here as well. And I'm just gonna go to my physics panel, click on here and make this a collision object. Then I'm gonna get my cloth. And now is where the fun part starts. So if we were to come here and give this a cloth simulation, and if I were to press Alt-A to play the animation, we can see here our cloth falls like it is supposed to. But we don't want the cloth to completely fall. Say for example, we had the cloth was a napkin or something hanging on a wall, we might want it to be pinned against the wall. So what we do is go into our edit mode. We look at the vertices that we want to be pinned. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these vertices right here. So I'm gonna pretend there's a wall here and there's a little hook holding these um, the cloth right here. So it's kind of pinned. So I'm going to select these vertices, go to my mesh properties here. I'm going to go to vertex groups and I'm going to hit the little plus sign and go assign. Okay, so I press A to deselect these vertices and with that group selected, just to make sure they are added to the group, we're going to go select and we can see here they are selected. So that's all good. So we can tab out of edit mode. Now all we have to simply do is go to our cloth simulation here. You can see here is our cloth and we simply go down to where it says pinning. We enable this by hitting a little tick box and then we select our group here. So if we run the simulation now, so just hit shift left mouse button just to go to the beginning of your timeline here. It's very important. And then go alt A, run the simulation again and we can see the cloth is now pinned over here. And that is really cool and it can be very useful, especially when you're doing stuff like clothing and certain parts of the clothes you don't want to be moving around. Like for example, where a sleeve might come into a, um, a socket or a joint. And um, I could do a tutorial on that in the future, but this was just more of a quick little introduction just to show you guys how um, you can set up pinning in Blender, this cloth simulation, how simple it is. The intent was not to keep this tutorial too long, so I'm gonna bring it to an end now. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did like it, hit the like button below, share it, and check out some other videos. And I will see you guys next time for another tutorial.